home for the night. We made sure to check all the little corners and cracks and crevices of this tent. This is Australia after all, so we don't want to take any chances with snakes or spiders or creepy things. Since the last vlog, my wife and I left Noosa Beach, traveled two hours north to Rainbow Beach where we've been staying for the past three nights. So we had a dolphin kayak excursion booked here at Rainbow Beach. We were gonna encounter dolphins, whales, dugongs, sea turtles. So the excursion was supposed to leave at 7 in the morning and then we got a text message at 5.75 a.m. telling us that the tour was canceled due to high winds and bad weather. It's a bit of a bummer but at least we'll be getting a full refund on that. So what we did instead is we visited another popular spot to visit in Rainbow Beach, and that's Carlos Sanblo, which is where I did my yoga fire. Yoga fire! Yoga flames! Cool. So I looked up um, the walk that we're supposed to be doing. There's three warnings. One is crocodiles, awesome. Uh, jellyfish that sting. Uh, amazing. Other one is dingoes, specifically this sexy one. There is a warning, especially around Easter, right in the middle of dingo mating season, when when they're already more territorial, they're more aggressive, and then on hmm. top of it, it's the last weekend before winter, so there's more people around. Last year's pups are of an age where now they need to like find their own territory and move about. Yeah, we're definitely not in New Zealand. <laughs> So that's what we're driving into. So the real reason why we're at Rainbow Beach, Rainbow Beach is where we're at, uh -huh, is that uh -huh. it is the gateway to the largest sand island in the world, Fraser Island, which is where the sexy dingoes are. Because of the terrain, it's only accessible by four-wheel drives. We're gonna have a convoy of four-wheel drive vehicles heading out to Fraser Island today. Three days of camping amongst the dingoes, like this sexy dingo right there. They suggest that you stay only at enclosed campsites. That is the excursion that we were supposed to be on. 90% strike rate, seeing dolphins. Unless the tour gets canceled due to high winds. Oh well. So it's day on the beach, and on the last day we're going hiking into Lake Bobby. Got the speaker here if anyone wants to be DJ and get some music going. Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless hey, Welcome to the next three days of driving <laughs> This is why you need a four wheel drive I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, So we just drove straight onto the ferry This ferry just goes back and forth uh, between Fraser Island and Ipskip Point Ipskip Point and All day there's no uh, schedule I feel like uh, it's the beginning of uh, Saving Private Ryan So hopefully uh, you know, we don't uh, get any MG fire from Germans waiting for us at Fraser Island so this is the uh, this is the biggest sand island in the world. From here up to the very top of the island, there's 128 kilometers. Uh, so by the time you get to the top of Fraser, you're kind of in line with Bundaberg on the Queensland coast. Yeah, good, having a good run. Beach is beautiful. Yeah. How's the lake? Busy? Yeah, it's pretty good. We just had to get Oh, nice. Cool. The pain makes it real. I don't want to feel. I just want to kill. The bad thoughts are still. A good thought to feel. I'm just lost to feel. I'm just lost to feel. I need to... This is our first stop here. We're about to do a little walk. They don't recommend that you go swimming because of... Sharks. Tiger sharks. Big tiger sharks the size of our four-wheel. Just squeeze the old lemon. <laughs> huh? What? what? 30 minutes into this hike, we are hungry. 
They're making us work for our lunch, as you can see. How are you doing, Princess Pawis? How's the Pawis? I have no friends. I made him laugh. The black like, butt forest, because they got black forest bums. Really called the black butt forest, and he's like, yes. A few minutes later, I'm like, so the black stuff that's on the trees, what's that? Thinking, you know, it was like mold or moss, fire or whatever, and he was like, that's the black butt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's our tour guide. They drove the cars around to meet us at the very end of this trail. We had lunch prepared. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. The only thing Ling and I had today were wagon wheels. If you're American or Canadian, think of the wagon wheels as kind of like whippets. Not the best sandwich you've ever had. Mm -hmm. And they got Tim Tams. We just got to Lake Mackenzie. We're gonna go for a swim for the next two hours. Uh, haven't seen any huntsman spiders yet, but we did see this big guy over here. He's big enough for me. <laughs> he me doesn't out. look very friendly. Ling wants to get out. All right, let's just go for a swim, eh? You're not allowed to consume any food in the parking lot or on the beach to avoid attracting any dingoes. The woman last week on, her, on the same tour got fined $350 for eating a sandwich here. Wow, beautiful white sand. Crystal clear blue water, that's insane. Never seen a lake look this attractive. Let me tell ya. This looks like a beach in Cancun. The lake is beckoning to be swam in. Swam in? Swam in. How's the water? Ooh. There is a pretty steep drop off. You see it kind of starts out light blue and then just over there it gets deep real fast. I'm expecting the water to be salty, but it's actual fresh water. It's amazing. You can almost drink it. How is this not the ocean? Lake Mackenzie, wow. Ling said love, there's something swimming. I don't know if it's supposed to be in the water or not. That could mean anything in Australia. Oh, it looks like a little turtle. Oh, it has antennas. Weird, weird creatures. Oh, where is it? Well, that just confirms it. Maybe I shouldn't be in the water. What an experience that was. It was the beauty of a beach. Nice white sand, crystal clear blue water. But then you jump in and it's a lake and it's fresh water. We're going to get back on our tour, four wheel drive vehicle, and they're going to drive us back to the campsite so we could get settled in. I am so scared that I'm going to walk through a massive web and there'll be this big black spider. You're welcome. So now we're just uh, cruising down to the campsite, about 10 minutes down to camp. He looks surprised. <laughs> <laughs> these first like these blue and brown tents just here because we put them up about a, uh, two weeks ago <laughs> all right we could show this one there's room for it too make sure uh, we zip it up because we don't want any uh any creatures lizards snakes or insects joining us snakes no por favor snakes uh, <laughs> no please yeah do the dinner and then you guys get to wash up so I'll okay. move that trolley, it's just over there. When you finished eating... Although 
Andrew did this and a very good job. But singing, forget it. <laughs>